Borussia Dortmund beating rivals Schalke by four goals to nil. Erling Haaland got two <laughs> goals, Jan. Uh, his first one, simply brilliant. It was simply brilliant. And I mean, this week we, we, we saw a game against Sevilla against two great, great center half and he scored two goals. His first half in that Champions League game is the best I've seen him since he came to, to Dortmund. Absolutely brilliant. And then he went out again today with, with people comparing him and Mbappé is got to be the new big thing in town after Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo still very hungry. I, I, I don't want to talk about him being the best player in the world. I'm just saying the what he can do best in the world is to create space for himself. And if you have a very exact look at that goal, he takes him away, takes him away. And then the, the cross from Sancho comes in and you see, you can just see the defender. Well, I will check if he takes it on the, uh, on the chest, I will have him. But I, I will let him have a volley because that is too difficult. He will never get that ball anyway. And boom, it's a candidate for a goal of the season in the German Bundesliga. And then he does the same in the second half, get another goal. But that first goal, absolutely brilliant. And those kind of volleys, I mean, we've seen them over the years, people doing that. And Erling Haaland, he is 20. 43 games for Dortmund, 43 goals. Not wow. a bad stat. It's not bad, is it? Jan, away from Haaland overall, of course, a big three points for Borussia Dortmund, not necessarily as they're looking to close the gap on Bayern Munich, but close the gap on the top four. Unbelievable, because they fired Favre to come closer to, to Bayern Munich. And now they find himself before this game against Schalke. Say that was the last chance for Schalke, so it could be a difficult game, but they are so bad. I mean, they couldn't... Well, beginning of the second half, they were OK, but still 4-0 is a massive result. They, before this game, they were nine points behind Wolfsburg, nine points behind Eintracht Frankfurt with a bad goal difference. Today, they won. They, they scored four goals. They're up there with the goal difference with the two teams. Uh, I had a look at the programme of, of, uh, of Bayern, uh, uh, sorry, of Dortmund. Next game, Bielefeld at home. They have trouble to, to break down, down those kind of teams. But still, I've seen something. I talked to, to the players in, in Dortmund. And what they found now, they found that they have to battle harder. Mm. They can't do this indoor kind of football play that Colombia used to do in the 90s. They have to battle for their points. And that's what I do the last two games. Thank it's you just much. a shame. It's just a shame, Dan, isn't it, that Erlen Haaland's coming through at a time when, when Norway have got a horrible team, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He's never get, Stevie's bored. He's not even paying attention. <laughs> no, but, it's a bit, to, but it's a good point. I mean, because when we are talking about Landor, we, we discussed this on the show here as well, who will get at him or Mbappé. And of course, in all kind of corners of life, it's an advantage to be a Norwegian. But in a Ballon d'Or, it's not an uh, advantage. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.